All right, hey guys, it's been a while since the last video. Just doing something quick today. Today we're gonna learn how to extract soundtracks from PC games. This won't work on all games, but it will work on quite a few. Uh, first things first, if it's a more modern game, you'll probably just gonna be able to find a soundtrack online, and that's a legal thing to do. If you want, if you want to get the game, just Google search the game name plus soundtrack. As you see for this, since it's an older game, you can't actually buy the soundtrack. Uh, the closest thing I could find for this game is a Bandcamp page that contains exactly. Let me show you guys real quick. One song, Mark and Blade, Mark and Blade reprise, and a live performance of a separate song. Basically, not what I want when I want the atmospheric music from the game, because this will give you pretty much all the music from the actual game. So again, the legal way to do it is if you can buy it, buy it. But since we can't buy it, let's go ahead and extract it. All right, so first thing you want to do, <coughs> find out where your game is located. Go to Steam, right click, Properties, and browse local files. Now here comes the hard part. Every single game puts them in different places, so you may have to do some manual searching. Like, uh, it's usually not in bin or in data, because that's normally game data. But you just have to look around until you find a file like this. Like, I, I remember where it is. For me, it's in data PC, bootstrap, and if you find a folder called sound, that's generally a good place to check. All right, so in sound, we have a bunch of files. FSB is what we're going to be working with today. There's other data types too, but we're just going with SF FSB. So um, another general rule is if you only see a few FSBs, like maybe three or four, that probably means they're combined, they combine multiple tracks together. One way you can check is with the program Audacity. Um, it's also a different way. So here we have ambient music bank, normal music bank, and sound effects. So one of the sound effects, we can load it up in here. And it says we have to import them as raw. So you file, import, raw. But some of you can just drag and drop. Sound effects. All right. And it will give us the default settings. Okay, that did not work. So don't do sound effects. All right. So <coughs> for music, let's just go ahead and drag and drop this in. And again, it says we need to import raw. So import raw data. And if it says music, just by itself like music bank and it doesn't say like a specific number afterwards that probably means it's multiple songs together you can also tell by the length when you import it into audacity which i'll have a link to below as you see here the length is 18 minutes there are no songs in this game that are 18 minutes so what we're going to do is we're going to extract the individual songs sure in audacity you can go in between and individually select the song you want let's say the song in here and then you can do file export selection but we're not going to do that because that would take forever. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a different program called uh, FSB File Extractor. There will also be a link below. And this is super easy to use. All you have to do is open a command prompt. You can do Windows key R and then CMD. Then once you have it extracted, you got to download the file I told you about. Uh, all right, and once you extract it, you'll see a bunch of files. <coughs> First thing you want to do, navigate to wherever you want to store the files because otherwise it will dump it in your home directory. So type CD and then type the path to where you want to extract it. Let's just put it here for now. So double click up here, that will give you the full address if you want, or you can just type it in manually. Then we're going to say copy and paste. Again, I could type in C colon slash mods blah 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 manually. If there are any spaces before you do anything else, you need to surround it with uh, quote marks. So as you can see here, press enter and it will change your directory but as you can see here since it's on a different drive this is the F drive this is the C drive we have to manually tell it this which drives so just type in the drive letter which is right here F colon and boom we're in the right folder okay next thing we need to do again first step is type in the path with CD if there's any spaces put quote marks then press enter and if it doesn't change it to the right directory that means it's on a separate drive we're on C we want to go to F so type in F colon or whatever your drive is, if you, up here it's like B, E, or whatever, type the same thing here, then you should be in the right thing, in the right drive, drag and drop. All right, and now we're going to drag and drop the thing we want to extract. Here's ambient. Let's go ahead and see what ambient is real quick. File, import, raw, ambient. All right, so if, if it, any of your files look like this, that probably means that you're not going to be able to preview them. So that's fine. Now, um, I said 
you type you drag and drop that program that we just extracted press space it will automatically put your quote marks for you which is really nice and then you want to drag and drop the thing you want to extract all right and then just press enter and it will extract all your files for you and here we go here are all the sound files and they're in WAV format so you can convert them if you want but WAV format makes them actually playable just go ahead and listen to one just to prove that it's working really nice crisp this is the actual official audio quality from that you'd hear in game so it's not like compressed or anything which is super nice I probably should put these in a subfolder but because this now looks messy but it's no big deal all right you want to extract the other thing let's see if we can extract the ambience or ambiance or however you prefer it all right so let's go press enter and ta-da now we have all the ambience music too and it starts with a and b you can see all the file names here as you see they're really really short so you probably don't want those but either way, there you go, and it works with multiple games too. So just for example, we're going to try one more thing. We're going to try, um, what's that game called? Let's try a game I already worked with. I did this manually, but we're going to try Hard Reset. I actually spent like two hours trying to extract these files manually using the Audacity method I was talking about before. So don't do that. Now that we know how to do it, okay, let's just look through the files. Like I said, it's not normally in data, but this time it is. So you have to look around. Once you find a sound folder, you know you're in the right place. All right, and as you see in here, there's a lot of files. The main one, you can usually tell by size how much stuff's in there. So here you go, Music Stream Combat. All right, this is one I was not able to extract with Audacity, so it's gonna be really nice to be able to do it here. So. This is how you make a subfolder. First thing we want to do, <coughs> just let's see, make a folder in here. Let's call this HR CD for change directory again. And just drag and drop your folder you want to put things in, and boom, we're in that folder. Now do the same thing again with the dragging of the program, which is in here. <coughs> space and then what you want to extract which is combat and then hit enter and there we go all the music has now been extracted where is it here we go so these are the songs I was actually missing and they were extracted way easier than the manual method so all right, as you can see, it works for multiple games. They don't have a full list of games. Like I believe Hard Reset Redux does not actually use FSB files. So as you see here, I don't see anything. You can, if you want to see if your game has FSB files, actually a super easy way is when you're in the games folder, type in, in the search box, asterisk.fsb. As you see here, no files. So we can't extract any audio from this game. Uh, we'll try one more just for example. Um, what other game has good music? Can't think of anything off the top of my head. Let's see if ukulele has anything. That would be cool. I'm going to make this video super long on our asterisk.fsb. Nope. We'll try one more thing and then we'll go. Uh, you guys can leave if you want. I'm just going to try one more thing. Uh, Microsoft Game Studios games normally have them. So let's try Indigo, Fahrenheit Prophecy, Properties, Local Files, Browse, dot .fsb, nope, okay, well that was still fun, um, hmm, maybe Outlast, yeah I think Outlast was one that might have it asterisk.fsb nope okay well that was still fun we extracted a bunch of music from the games 
and that will show you how ooh shadow of mordor please that'll be cool actually i don't remember if it has good music but hopefully since it's a multi-plat game it'll be nice to us no nope. oh well okay well that should still at least get you started so now you'll be able to extract your music you can convert it using any program you want but this will actually give you all the music from your game. And another note is a lot of this stuff, like especially the background music and stuff, isn't actually on the soundtrack CD. So I still suggest if you if you have the option to buy a soundtrack CD, buy it anyway. But if you want to get every single file, this is the way to do it. For FSB files at least. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I guess I'll see you guys later. Yep, bye.